In ancient times, man had to walk on foot. He had to move from one place to another in search of food and shelter. If he had to cross a water body, he used a canoe or a reed boat. He had to carry his goods either on his head or on his back. He could not travel very far. The invention of wheel changed the life of early man. He made a cart and loaded heavy goods on it. He also trained horses and donkeys to pull the carts. The transportation of people and goods became easier. The invention of wheel changed the way Man moved from one place to another. The progress in the means of transport is closely related to the invention of wheel. You can see wheels everywhere. Rickshaws, bicycles, ska skates, cars, trains, planes, machines, factories and farm equipment. The wheels have changed from round blocks of wood to rubber tires with air-filled tubes. Many tires are tubeless. Can you imagine a life without wheels today? The oldest wheel was discovered in Mesopotamia, modern Iraq, parts of Syria, Turkey, Iran and is believed to be over 5500 years old. Wheels are also used as spinning wheels in producing cotton textile, water wheels in drawing water from wells, steering wheels in vehicles and grinding wheels for making flour from grains. Roadways Cars, buses, trucks, bullock carts, tongas, bicycles, scooters, etc. move on roads. Cars, buses and trucks are fast moving vehicles. They take less time. Fast moving vehicles Use petrol, diesel and CNG to run. Slow moving vehicles like rickshaw, bicycle and tongas use man or animal power. Do you know CNG is compressed natural gas. It is safer and creates less pollution. Now railways. Railways. Trains run on tracks. They carry hundreds of passengers and tons of goods. We can travel over short as well as long distances by train. The earlier trains ran on steam energy but now most trains run on electricity. Modern air-conditioned trains are very comfortable with sleepers, dining car, library etc. Listen to the story of railways. Instead of muddy roads, wooden rails were used for easy movement of horse-drawn wagons and carts in Germany. These railroads were the beginning of railways. The invention of steam engine replaced the animal energy and opened the way for modern railways. George Stephenson invented the first steam locomotive engine for railways. Do you know Metro Rail service is available in Delhi and Kolkata? 
Many other cities are also soon going to have metro to reduce the traffic from roads. Mumbai has a monorail transport system. The difference between the two is that monorail runs on a single rail as against metro rail that runs on two rails, like all other trains all over the world. In India, the first train ran between Mumbai and Thane in 1853. Next, waterways. The earlier ships used rails. The direction of the wind played an important role. Later, steam energy was used. But now, boats and ships move fast with powerful diesel engines. Modern ships can transport hundreds of people and tons of goods to faraway places. Waterways are less costly than airways, but they take longer time. Moreover, they are only available near rivers, seas and other water bodies. Airways Means of transport that fly in the air like aeroplanes, helicopter and glider are called the airways. Airways are the fastest means of transport. They can take us to faraway places within or outside India in a short span of time. But air travel is costly. Who invented the airplane? Wilbur and Orville Wright invented the airplane which they called the flying machine. The first ever plane was in air for 12 seconds and covered a distance of 120 feet. The choice of the vehicle depends on the distance and time. If you have to travel to a faraway place, then you cannot travel by an auto rickshaw or bicycle. You will have to travel by a bus, car, train, aeroplane, etc. Thousands of people travel every day. Modern means of transport have made traveling easy and comfortable. Various parts of the world are now well connected by roadways, railways, waterways or airways. But they create pollution. Can you do something to reduce pollution and save the environment? Take a simple step. Do not use a vehicle if you have to go to some close by place. You can walk or use a bicycle. You will save fuel and also remain fit. Now let me confirm. How much you remember? Can you tell me? Who invented the first airplane? Graham Bell, Wright Brothers, Thomas Edison. I think it was Wright Brothers, correct? Correct. Which is the most expensive? Mood of transport, railways, waterways, airways, airways. Correct. Number three. Which means of transport uses animal energy? Tonga, submarine, tram. Answer: Tonga. Correct. The progress in the means of transport is closely related to the invention of boat, wheel, fire. Answer, wheel. Correct. Number one. People dash from one place to another for different reasons. People travel from one place to another for different reasons. Number two, a large number of people travel for dash. A large number of people travel for business. Number three, many members of family get together to celebrate dash. Many members of family get together to celebrate festivals. Number four, 
dash travel is not as costly as air travel. Road travel is not as costly as air travel. Number five, do not use a dash if you have to go to close by place. Do not use a vehicle if you have to go to close by place. Match the following. Railways Passenger train Airways Helicopter Roadways Minibus Waterways Ship Correct. The beautiful thing about learning is that no one can take it away from you. So, let's keep learning. And we are trying to make it a fun for you. Hope you enjoyed. Do come back and let us know with your likes and subscribes. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day.